Coming up on today's show, the Jurassic Park mobile, budget cars, and I try to show off some of my collection. Hi guys, welcome back to SJ, and now today we're at the Santa Monica Pier. I mean, no, not the, well, it's based off of the Santa Monica Pier. But we're at the Del Perro Pier in GA5, and we have the Jurassic Park Mesa, which is not officially made by Rockstar, it's by a... I just got a Mesa and then stuck a crew logo on it, which uh, I joined. And the only real bad thing about this is you can know, you can obviously already tell the logo is like sideways. But the logo does look nice, but it's just that sideways that I don't really like. But this is the, uh, as close as I could get to the Jurassic Park car. And uh, as I say, we're starting at Del Perro PM. We've got the normally we'll have a plane taken off as soon as we start the video, but this time I have a roller coaster going round. Look at that. So there goes the roller coaster. I've got to be honest, that roller coaster is going quite slow. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go up to Palito Bay and then just normally kind of drive as you will from Palito Bay to the dinosaur to kind of represent uh, Jurassic Park, maybe. If you want to say that, I'm not. I mean, I'm not sponsored by them, but uh, we're going to take a route. It's kind of like a non-road trip because we're going to start across the beach and we're going to try and uh, kind of get go kind of off-roading we're, we're gonna try and get round the whole map kind of somehow across here round Fort San Kudo up here somehow across there uh, dirt tracks we're allowed to take them because they're not officially like paved roads uh, somehow somehow maybe across here past the bunker up to Palito Bay and then we're gonna go from there normally drive down to the dinosaur, which is here. I don't know how long that's going to take, but we we'll might as well get started. I bought a spare. I brought a spare jerry can in the back, but it's just like hidden under some secret compartment, so you can't really see. It. And uh, that's all I've took really. So let's get going. Right, so we're going. Uh, the first obstacle which we will have, which is uh, just the stairs. Everybody likes stairs. Oh come on, we might have been doing a whole off-road thing and we've got stairs. Fuck you, stairs. Fucking piece of shit. Nobody likes stairs, that's gonna ruin the suspension already, we've already got air. Uh, I mean, st stairs, stairs aren't that bad actually. You know, we could, we could easily get across like, the massive big rocks. Yeah, let's go in first person. Nice. I, th I think uh, the mirrors are rep uh, I think they're made like that for uh, for legal reasons and stuff for uh, for kids because you know they made the mirrors blurry obviously so everything's censored in the background. But we have rocks. Let's uh, let's try and prove that this is a rock crawler. Yeah, this is a rock crawler, officially, to me. You can get over rocks. Maybe, maybe a bit of a struggle, but. Look at that. It's got the clearance for it. Oh, no, that's a paved road. That's the real. We're not allowed to touch a paved road until we get up to Palito Bay. Right, we've reached a bit of a landmark now. We've got all the tourists and all the lovely still houses and also the sea. First landmark of the video we have, uh, well, second, apart from the beach, we we'll have a beach of stuff. We're still on the beach yet, we're not at the challenging cliffs yet. I've already, I tried to hit a jump. I fucked up the front of it, you guys already seen. Well, you didn't see, you didn't see nothing, but let's get a bit of a splash. Yes, look at that, this is clearly an off-roading vehicle now. Right, we're getting a bit of rocks, you know, we've got to hit these rocks just while we're there. Are you seriously... Are you seriously saying I've beached this already? Are you... Come on. I've, I've already beached it. There's hardly any, even any rocks there. Right, let's, let's knock over that. Let's just... Uh, right, see you later, rocks. Fucking wankers. Uh, we've, got a, we've got another up here. Come on up there. Right, come on, we can get this rock. This is a little stunt jump. That was totally meant to happen. But uh, nevertheless, we landed it anyway. We should have some background music on here while we're doing this. 
Right, now I've reached a uh, more challenging bit. I've got a couple of rocks. It's not too bad, though. Uh, we've got the water, which is quite close to her. But uh, this is what the missile was built for as well. And a couple of terrorists that were just narrowly avoided. Right, we've reached the first proper rocky bit here. We couldn't get over them small little rocks uh, at that beach. So let's see if we can get through. This is going to be quite challenging, actually. We might actually lose the... Uh, the vehicle a couple times. I don't think we're. I think I want to try and make it up here. Yes. Hmm, should we go? Yeah, let's. If, if we even can. Come on! Handbrake. Shit. Shit. Right, I'm gonna reverse a little bit. Up here. Make. Oh! Ooh, we just made that. We. I, I was thinking we were gonna fall over the edge there. But no, we made it. But we've got to get back down to the beach as well. Right, let's go back down. This is an off-roading trip, so we, we can't go with no off-roading. Well, that that's the off-road, but it's just flat off-road. Yes. Just skimming that kind of bit of coast at the bottom of the cliffs. Getting a bit... No. Don't. I'm scared, I don't want it. Yes, no. Right, we're off that. We hit that. Get around it. Oh shit. This is going well already. And we're probably not even halfway there yet. I mean, a lot of the way was actually just beach. But now it's actually the rocky bit. Where we can actually test this, uh, the Jurassic Park off-roading mobile is what I'm going to call it. It's a bit of a simple name, but... Oh, look at that. We're getting deeper. Come on, floor it. Don't... Don't get... Don't get killed... By water. Oh, no. We're stuck. We're stuck. And we're not. We might be. I don't know. I haven't got past it yet. Right, if we... Um... Oh. Uh, it's totally fine. The, the vehicle is totally working. It just run out. The, this car just runs off Wi Fi, so. You know, if the Wi Fi gets shit, then the car dies. So, uh, sorry. Right, we're back. We've got the new car, and uh, some cunt ass uh, dickhead AI crashed into the side of it, and it kind of affects that wheel a little bit. Uh, we're not exactly where we started, because. Uh, I mean, well, where, where, where the car died, the car died over there, over there. Wait, what? That, that wheel's kind of, like, hanging, floating a bit, but... Uh, we're, we're, we're still, uh, actually, let's... We've only made, we've made it from here. I'm over here, but we've got to go all the way round to Paleo Bay. And then over at the dinosaur, but that's just driving normally. Right, well... Get around these obstacles. Try not to uh, get the car killed by the water. Cross this little. Are you serious? I've killed it. How? How it literally went fully in the water. How did it survive that? Right, I'm I'm scared to even go in there now. I I, I thought I seriously thought the car had died there. Oh no, it's gonna do it, it's good. Oh. I've killed it again. It's so fucking hard. Right, we're back in the Mesa, in. Well, no, not the Mesa. It's not a Mesa anymore, it's a Jurassic Park mobile. But we're back in the Jurassic Park mobile. I totally didn't just skip a little bit of the track. I'm joking, but I skipped about. Well, I got like here. Well, the first time, the second time was just there, I think it was. Totally didn't just skip a bit of the track. But let's keep let's keep going. On my way to Palito Bay. Actually, is that going to be too? That's it. Let's do it like a real person in real life does it. The drive. Actually, no, it's went a bit down, so it's probably okay now. Actually, you're probably best going when the water gets to its lowest. At these bits. Like. Oh, we're we'll leaving. Yeah, we'll probably get around that. Without killing the car. And a bit more rocks. Bit more fun. 
All we need is uh, some lemonade and some a Big Mac to be eating while we're doing this. Oh, look at that! Oh shit, that was a bit that was a bit risky. Huh? Oh, that was that was also a bit risky. I hit them. I like them, but I hit them. It's fun to deal with them, but it's just you know. I think we're coming near Fort Ancuda now, and we haven't really touched the road except for when I've when I've camera to go and pick up my vehicle again. But we're doing quite well, I think. This is quite quite fun. We're gonna have to figure out how to get across. We'll probably have to go back a little bit to get across there, because that might just be enough water to sink it. Oh, look at this. Oh, that was nice. Actually, let's just fucking floor it. Uh, yeah, let's just take more like a... Actually, no, we might... Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna just get a little taste of it. Slowly. Can we get across? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, we've done it. I just, I just, I just went and fall and risk that to get through, but we've got another bit. Just floor it through that. That was a bit risky. That was getting quite close to the engine. Uh, shall we touch it? We're gonna try and touch even dirt tracks as, as least as we can. We can still touch them because it's not officially like a proper road. But oh shit, I'm about to kill homeless people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. Actually, what the fuck do they have in there? I fucking, I literally hit that so hard, mate. Did you put, uh, did you, did you concrete your pants again and just, you concreted it so much that you just turn, put it inside the tent now, it just doesn't fall over. Right, anyway, I just totally forgot about them homeless people. And I just go. Okay, Bob, I've got your chicken nuggets. Here you go. Right, I think this this could be the thumbnail the thumbnail for this video. I mean, come on, just look at it. Actually, let's uh, let's get the let's start recording. And yeah, this is gonna be the thumbnail for this video, guys. Now that now that I know how the thumbnail thing works, you just gotta save the project. But that was full on thumbnail shot, guys. Look at that. That is a good. That is a good place for a thumbnail. Even better than the dinosaur. Look at that. We just happen to be driving along the beach when there's a sunset happening. Now we're, we're what like uh, almost at Palito Bay. We've came from here all the way down to here. Quite quicker than I thought it would, although if I didn't skip that little, I mean, sorry, didn't, did, if, I, uh, if I got through that bit a little quicker, you know, but, yeah, right, let's keep going, more homeless people, and also, I've decided to give that homeless, but I know, I know, he won't, wait, here's this guy, is he wearing something weird, he's trying to whip a race suit, he's a bit fucking dirty, he must have shit his pants. Wait, I just that this might actually be Bob actually, cause uh, Bob 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 was in his uh, homeless shelter thing, and he's concreted himself again. How you doing, Bob? Okay, fuck you, Bob. I'm gonna call every homeless person Bob now. Right, this could be another challenging bit, cause we've got another river to go across here. That was almost quite risky. It was like it was just about shallow enough, I think. I don't think this this will be shallow enough. Give it a little dip. And give her this bit. But it's no, I didn't. I, I, that looks it looks steep enough to to kill this car. So we're gonna have to find find some other way around. That's a. Uh, 
get across here. Bit of off road. This this bit might be okay. I'm gonna try here. So Nah, that is enough to sink the car. Okay, let's go. Let's just keep going down this river till I find loop, find a, a, a bit where we can get across. Oh, I don't know if I want it. No, I don't know if I want to go down there. The car's just the car's still deciding. It doesn't know if it should or it shouldn't. So it's like back up and stuff. No, back up! Don't don't go down there. Yeah, that was loud enough. No, you hit it. No, wait. wait. No, he's still. Is he still? Is it still deciding? Or is it? Yeah, it doesn't want to go in there. Let's try this bit. That looks like it's going down a lot. Yeah, it is. Not that bit then. Right, this bit definitely looks looks shallow enough. If you look at the the kind of the sand underneath, so fuck it, let's just floor it and get across. Look at that, like a boss. Now we've got to go down here, which looks a bit more challenging than the other side. I've got to say that. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot bumpier. Oh, we've got another one of these bits here. Nicely across it. Just keep, just keep going. Hopefully, we don't fall in too much in the water. And then we should just nicely make it across to the other side. Right, we've got a bit of a big rock up ahead here, so. I'm just go nice and slowly. Uh, there we go, made that. Good, because this is a mess up. And oh, this is, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, yes, I think we've done that as well. Right, to the right, I see more, more of bobs, and a can rusty rebel, and there's more rocks. And it looks like, it looks just as challenging as that bit where the car kept dying. Actually, we're gonna have to, Go around these rocks. Oh, that looks a, it looks a bit deeper there, I don't know. Oh, you see, she's saying. I think the only real, real way we can do this is to try and get up there somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that. Because if I go here. Oh no, maybe we're. No, that's not, it's not going to work, is it? I'm going to be on this rock. Come on, there's got to be. There's got to be some way to get over this big, big thing. I need to somehow get on that rock. But it's, like, it's too hard to just get onto it. I think it's uh, pretty much impossible to get uh, over that without getting a cargo bob. So we're just going to go up this way because it's still, still get this. This challenge is meant to be an off-road challenge to get a to get to that dinosaur, well, pull it a bit then just normally drive to that dinosaur. But, uh, we're not on the road. Oh shit, actually, how bad is that? Oh, it's just usually loads of them. I can tell you one challenging bit, but we're going down. I'm gonna risk it. Right, let's go. Let's go. It's -a me, Mario. Please do not offend me of anything of that Mario uh, accent. I wonder if that would actually be an actual accent. That would be a bit weird. Yeah, this bit look challenging from up there. Now, we might have to go around it. It looks a bit too steep. No, we're falling into it. Do the handbrake tactic. I don't think that's working. I think we might be stuck. Yeah, I think the only way is down. Actually, no, that doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too deep as, a, as it looked from the top. Oh, but the last bit looks deep. Is, can we get up there? I don't know, because there's a rock in the fucking way. Try and spin round. Yeah, it's... Ha oh, no, I've done it again. That's the third time the vehicle's got destroyed today. So, yeah, I think the third and final try time, uh, we'll, we'll get there without destroying it. Right, we're back. I've got the vehicle up there, but I think that there's also another bit what we might have to skip out, which is this bit, because look at it, how we're going to get up that, it's like fully vertical. And I think, where was it? 
Uh, I think it was like there. Yeah, we could still start from there because we could go up there again. So I'll meet you guys in the car once we're back to exactly where we where the car died again for the third and final time. Right, I think this was around about where the car died. So we're gonna uh, hopefully climb up here. Oh, but there's a dirt track up there, isn't there? No. Shall we go around the dirt track or shall we just... I mean, I did say we could do that, but I don't want it to touch it as l least as we can. The car kind of doesn't really want to climb up here. It's just deciding that it's going to try its best to, like, fall down the side. And I think we're going to... Yeah, I think we're stuck. I can't even get on the fucking road. Well, the dirt track. Right. I think this is going to be the only time we're going to have to touch the dirt track to get to Polito Bay. Bit of a jump down there. The train must have uh, might have saved me life from that water down there. So we're definitely going to get stuck in that water. Climb up here. Oh no, this is like a cliff now though, isn't it? Oh shit. Right. If I look down there, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, I'm gonna do that again. If I can even get, it just fucking. Whoa! Look at it. It's on three wheels. It's now a reliant Robin, and I don't even think I can get back in the car. Shit! Don't push it. Oh no. Oh god! Why did I get out the car? Push, push it back up. Oh no! I'm fucked. Right, what I was gonna do. I was going to normally get out of the car, but he didn't. And then the TV's about to turn off again. I'm going to say if we can... Maybe... No, I don't... I don't. That doesn't look possible. Right, let's... Uh, do something about this. Right, I gave the car a little bit of a nudge. And uh, it, uh, thankfully, the car didn't die. I mean, it, it was so close to falling over. But let's just carry on getting to Polito Bay. Right, we've made it to Polito Bay. I've decided not to go to the dinosaur because that'll make the video too long because it's already really long. But we've made it to the, the dinosaur and let's get on to the next bit for uh, today's FG. I've also got the police on as you can hear that in the background. So you've wasted all your money on something like let's say just a vigilante and it's, it's already exploded and you really need transport to get back and you want to buy it and you want something that gets over a hundred mile an hour. Well, let's try and find a car that can at least uh, get near it. Right, so as you guys heard, the budget challenge. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a budget car for uh, 25, uh, the budget is 25 grand. So we're gonna go on Southern San Jose's, which is the best for some cheapy cars. We've got to buy an alright car to go home in, and it has to get over 120 mile an hour. And if it doesn't get over 120, then it has to, uh, well, if it gets basically so slow than 120, then we'll kind of crank that down a bit, or maybe it's in kilometers, but it'll probably be in miles. But uh, if it gets over 120 easily, then we'll put that up a bit. So we're going to find uh, the best car that you can get for 25 grand, at the most, 
not including bikes, that'll go quite fast. So let's look for some good cars. Uh, got, oh, this one looks nice. Well, it looks nice for a 25 grand car, not a fucking Prius. Who the fuck wants to wants to buy a Prius and you can buy one of these? Uh, it's looking like. Uh, the, the, the ma, my, my Batsu pa, Penumbra. I think I'll have you. Uh, let's just go for this one. This isn't my actual garage. What, I'm, what I really is. Right, we have the uh, My Batsu whatever. Um, do, do you fucking mind me? Do you. I'm trying to introduce a car. And then you go ahead and shut the fucking doors, you know what? Fuck you. Don't... Don't you... But get your blood, get your fucking... But uh, as I was saying, this is the... My Butsu... Whatever it is. <laughs> but uh, the top speed... I don't even know what the top speed is really. But this cunt can just... If you want a door, then have a door. I'll tuck the door off. Shit. Right, I don't even know what the top speed of this is, but the goal it was to break 120 miles per hour in a, bud a budget car. This does look quite good for a budget car. Right. Have I bought the wrong car? Or have I bought the right one? What? Come on. It's not even got 100 yet. It's doing quite shit. We've just got an 80. Can it break 120? We're still accelerating now. I think this may be max speed, you know. Is there any way? We did say 25 grand. This costs 24 grand. So I think we'll have a bit of a thing that we should do here. And I'm also going to crank the speed down to 110 now. So... Since it, you know, it looks like it's now we're gonna hit 120. Wait, is this is it snowing in game? This looks like snow. Uh, it, that looked like a tiny little bit of snow in the game. It was actually snowing on Thursday where I am. Where I am. Where, 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 what? But it was actually snowing on Thursday, and then it just all melted on Friday and Saturday, and that was pretty much none left. But what the Los An well, it's not the Blaine Count new one, whatever it is. But can we buy an engine upgrade for one grand? Uh, we could most likely turn it into a... Ah, the repair cost doesn't actually really count. Engine. No, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything to do with that. Anything we can get? Transmission? Ooh, that's going like... No, it's not, because that's like a 11 grand. Anything we can get... I've gone, we might have to go a bit of a budget, I think. By... About, what, like, 4 grand? 4... Just over 4.5 grand, we're a bit of a budget. But let's see if that'll do anything. Come on, can we hit 120? Or, I mean 110 now. Oh, that is accelerating way faster now. All I have to do is 110. Well, if not 110, we'll, we'll, we'll do 100. I think the top speed of this is 80. But it's still, nevertheless, it's still quite a nice car. It accelerates pretty fast if you go a bit over 25 grand on the budget. If you're buying this car. But if you, for some more reason, have no money in GTA, then actually this sh should just about be the car, even though it doesn't even hit 100. It's alright. It, lo it looks alright. But let's go into the, into the last thing to end off this video. Not my terrible... Hard, sh hard shoulder parking thing but yeah it is what it is it's a standard car and it's alright 
Right, so I think the last thing to end off this video of going from uh, Los Santos to Palito Bay without using roads is me showing off my car collection. Not like literally being a complete dickhead, but just showing you guys around. So anyway, first we have the Imponte Dukes, which is based off of the Dodge Charger, I think, or is it another one? That's... I think there's another one that's similar to it, but I think this is based off, based off the Dodge Charger. The 1960s version, or maybe Pontiac GTO or something. But uh, this is actually also based off of the General A car from uh, Dukes of Hazardous. Is it Hazard, I think. I haven't actually, I was going to put the Hazard license plate. I could, but it cost 100 grand to even put a license plate in. I've got roll cages. Uh, I, I just went for off road tires. That's the best tires I could really get to look similar to them. But uh, that's pretty much that. I was going to get a. Uh, turbocharged engine but that just wouldn't sound uh, nice for a muscle car wouldn't it the turbo shifting but next we have the Turismo Classic which is based off of the Ferrari F40 and uh, it's got the twin kind of exhaust thing and it says oh boy as the license plate it's a grotty Turismo it's got the I don't know why but I went for the white wheels the white kind of classic cot rod ones some people don't like them some people do but I like it so I'll keep it like this this is the interior Grotty, it has the kind of little handle things there. It's uh, it looks quite nice compared to the actual Ferrari F40 interior because they went uh, well Enzo Ferrari that was his last car that he made, but they tried to uh, put a lot of weight distribution by deleting a lot of things at the interior. But I forgot to show you guys the muscle car one. This actually looks similar to the Pontiac logo, the GA one, or at least I think. But that's the muscle car, quite classic. Next we have the Salton RS, which is uh, my most expensive car, including all the upgrades on it. But as you can see, Salton RS, we've got the double exhaust coming out the side there. We've got the white wheels as well with the dollar signs. We've got the rally lights. We've got, we've got the kind of engine displayed for this little window here, which is quite nice. And we've also got an, another spoiler with the primary colour. And as you can see, the secondary colour is black. Karen Salton, oh boy, is the license plate. This is the uh, the interior. It, it's meant to look quite rally. We've got the head, them head things, what they call them, ornaments that wobble around. We've got a Karen rally locking wheel, and it's an RS for the Salton. Got all these roll cages. It looks uh, pretty nice. All the racing seats and the racing harnesses. But now we have what would be here would be the Bat Eater one. Oh, oh, but I sold that. Now we have the lift shot, and now this is something what you could get in the uh, the Halloween DLC. Now, actually, can you even? I think it's actually still on the website that you can buy it. I don't know if they're going to keep it on there, because the other one they put that off. But just checking, and yeah, it's it's still on the website for 650k. But uh, it's quite old-fashioned as so well. You got the kind of quadruple exhaust. You got two here, and you've got if we get around the side here. You got another two coming out there. Got the wheelie bar, I don't know why. It's like so close to there. And actually, is there a license plate on the front? No, there's not. But there's actually, I put zombie on the license plate, but you can't see it because you can't really get behind here. But if you go in, for, this is for Daniel Speech Gaming as well. This uh, this one little thing, not the ornament. The ornament is a, uh, well, the ornament's a kick and a zombie thing. Quite nice. You got the zombie sticking out the back as well. But one thing for Danny, he's been scamming, because uh, he actually bought this car and he said he's been driving this, but he didn't even know that it had a horn like this. I don't know about you guys, but I use the horn all the time in GTA. I, I, I love beeping horns. This is the Night Shark, which I think it must be based off of uh, the Marauder. I'm, I'm not really too sure about military cars, but we've got the red. Uh, all my plates with it. We've got the actually this actually it looks good the design of this uh, kind of round bar on the front, but it actually works quite good as well. Cause I get I literally I don't even care about the traffic. I just go and ram it with this. But uh, coming around the back, pretty. Actually, we've got a tow hook on the back, and it also says "Oh boy." And uh, the tow hook is actually for the big missile thing. What you can get, which is uh, automatically locks on to people, but I don't actually have that. The interior. You know, you wouldn't want to drive in first person in this because you pretty much, you can't really see because of the plates in the way. But it also has some mini guns in the front. 
So, getting on to the, uh, the next one, I only have one card because this collection isn't really complete. It doesn't really have a theme, but can we get the Jurassic Park mu music going, please? Dead. Right, yeah, that's the only bad thing. Uh, you can't get Jurassic Park. Well, I can't get it anyway because of copyright. But, nevertheless, we've got. Uh, actually, this is the one we're using this video today. Just a normal license plate. Got the wheel on the back. Beacon lights. And the most important part the Jurassic Park logo. Except from it's flipped sideways. That was uh, the cruise fault. It has a winch as well on the front, which doesn't work. But that is, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more uh, videos like SJ. Because this is, SJ is basically the, uh, the series with the most high demand for people to get, for me to get these videos out, out there. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, I'm still doing, going to be doing City Skylands as well. I think we're on to part 7. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.